after we prep the head for porting and polishing, I'm gonna go ahead and dry it, either with the rag, or if you have a compressor, go ahead and blow dry it. Next, we're gonna use this uh, Dicom Steel Blue, and we're gonna mark the areas that we're going to uh, port. We're gonna grind down, okay? Let's go ahead and start with the intake. Also, all that right there. Oh, actually, let me get some more up on there. We're gonna have a nice solid line, and this stuff dries pretty quickly. Okay, let this dry for a little bit. It dries pretty quickly, like I said. But you see that line right there? The very edge of the blue? That's what we're gonna cut off. Yeah, that's a really good point right there. We don't wanna go too thin, remember. You go too thin, you're gonna blow head gaskets and it can, it, you can potentially crack the head or the, uh, yeah, yeah, the head, the runner. So we're gonna cut up to this edge right here. Right there, see the edge right there. Maybe a little bit more, but not too much. You want something that, we want some material so that the gasket can do its job. Okay, so as you can, I don't know if you guys can see clearly, but I went ahead and marked the area inside as well too. There's that. All right, and then we're also going to round off this edge right here. That's right there. Okay, and then also for the exhaust as well. And another thing we're gonna do is we're going to, besides tapering the intake, we're going to uh, bring this down right here a little bit. Let me see if you can see it from this area. Okay, see that step in here where the valve guide's at? We're gonna go ahead and take that down as well so that we have a straight shot. basically this part right here that one we're going to go ahead and bring it down the throat area we're not going to do too much we're just going to basically clean it up a little bit but we're not going to take off too material we don't want to widen that we want to have a nice taper from the beginning to the te to the end to the throat for the porting we're going to be using this ryobi 1 hp dremel tool I picked this up a little bit ago. The only thing that sucks about this is that the inner part that uh, spins this right here, it's a little bit short, so you gotta modify this a little bit. So if you ever get one of these, let me know. I'll help you modify it. Portable as well. For the bits, we're gonna be using these carbide bits I bought off Amazon. I'll go ahead and leave a, um, I'll leave the uh, the name and location uh, on uh, on the description later on. So just uh, different ones that they give you. They're, they're pretty long, so you're gonna have to cut some of these down so that it won't wobble. Also too, it's best to wear some protection. And also too, like some overalls or, uh, you know, some kind of covering so that all these like microscopic pieces of metal don't get all over your skin and, you know, make you start itching later on. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started and we're gonna go ahead and port all the way up to this line right here. Okay, the, the very edge of the dicom mark, right around there, okay? Just like that. Okay, so when we port, we're gonna try not to go like this, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because what's going to happen is you're going to create like a, uh, a hill. 
okay? Because the bit's gonna be dwelling on either side longer than the middle, right? It's like double tapping it, basically. You don't wanna do that. So you wanna just have a sweeping motion, sweep, sweep, lift up, sweep, lift up, return, sweep, lift up, return, sweep, like that, okay? We're gonna try to do that as best as possible. If you're just starting out, don't expect to be a pro the same day. <laughs> it's gonna take some time, all right? And it's gonna require you to mess up here and there, you know? So that's why I tell you guys to start with a old used Predator head. Anything that's old, that's used, that's cheap, okay? And then later on, once you, you know, get your paper up and you, and you buy, a, you know, those big valve heads, a little more expensive heads, and then you'll, you'll know what you're doing, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start in the lowest setting as well. Well, oh, that's the loading. Low, that's the lowest setting right there. So we go a little bit faster. Let's start right there, just to kind of get the feel for it. Hope you guys have a good angle. This is I've been trying to figure out a good angle, so this is the best that I got right now. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start with the sweeping motion. Make sure it's flat through the bit. Go ahead and show you real quick. See? Okay. And the sweeping motion. Make sure it's flat as well. And that's what the Dicom does. It really helps to show you what you're grinding off. Go a little bit faster. Okay, you see this area right here? This one? Okay, you see a little hump right there? There's a way to get that out, okay? So it's gonna require you going in a circle motion, a circular, so like this, okay? And that's gonna help remove that one right there. Let's go ahead, I mean, let, me, let me show you real quick. Circle. Okay. So it's getting it out. Remember to be patient, all right? Be patient with yourself. You're right there. Okay. I see. It took it out a little bit. So I'm just going to go. I'm going to continue with the sweeping motion. And if I do find any humps, I'm going to go ahead and, and flatten them out with that same technique I just showed you the circular, circular motion technique.
gonna go ahead and work on the uh, short side radius a little bit. And we'll go back to the other side. The short side radius is gonna be the roof. This part right here. All this right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit that. And this is the part right here where a lot of people wanna go back and forth, back and forth. Right here, back and forth, back and forth. You don't want that. You, you wanna try to sweep it from the right to the left. Lift it up, bring it back to the right side. Bring it, put it down and sweep, 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 sweep. You don't want to go back and forth like that. No, no, no. You can, but um, if you're not experienced, it's going to be a hard time trying to get that hump off. Remember, you just want to take off that edge. And the same thing, you want to sweep in motion. Go ahead and check with your fingers.
Okay, after using this bit right here, which is pretty soft, uh, I managed to grind down the carbide bit uh, grit off of it. And now I'm, I, uh, <clears throat> I'm using this, uh, this little padded, uh, I guess, uh, pad. I think it's like a 320 grit, I believe, or 400 grit. I'm not sure. I forgot which one it is, but uh, it's a little bit smoother, less gritty. And uh, yeah, so what I'm doing, I'm basically just, uh, you know, trying to blend it, blend it out and smooth it out as possible. All right, guys, so that concludes our video of the porting and polishing of the intake and exhaust. I'm going to go ahead and work on the combustion chamber a little bit. I'm going to make a video um, on installing the valve guides. And I already went ahead and cut the spring pockets for the dual springs. Um, what else? Uh, yeah. So just stay tuned for some more videos coming up. Sorry, this one took a little bit longer than expected. I was going through some things, but uh, I'm okay. And life is good. All right, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.